Well, look at Monday evening. We started out with some rain earlier today, but the sunshine returned, and it's not been too bad of a Monday and to start of the work week. Let's take a look at temperatures, and you can see that those are starting to drop into the upper 40s and low 50s. And overnight tonight, we'll stay steady in the mid and upper 40s, so not too cold. And tomorrow, though, we're not going to see a big warm up. We're only going to be in the low to mid 50s. Some of us barely making it to 50. You can see future cash showing. We'll stay dry overnight tonight, but notice as we go into that 5, 6 a.m. window, there could be a slight chance of a shower or two, and then better chance of showers return as after 6 a.m., and that'll carry us through the morning, and you'll notice as we go throughout the day, lunchtime, still seeing some showers out there, but by the afternoon hours, we will start to dry things out. Sunshine, I do think, will return for tomorrow afternoon into the early evening hours, and then temperatures get cold to start your Wednesday morning only in the low 30s to start the day. But notice on Wednesday, we do have a lot of sunshine in the forecast and a few clouds on the increase later in the day. The chances of rain over the next 48 hours, you'll be noticing that the highest chance is after 4 a.m. and it'll last till about 2 to 3 p.m. and then things will dry out and then notice level off to about zero for the rest of Tuesday night or dry and even into your Wednesday. The rainfall amounts for tomorrow's system. Again, we're not talking a whole lot, but we could see roughly on average around a quarter, maybe three-tenths of an inch of rain across southern West Virginia. Now, another thing you'll notice tomorrow is the winds will start to get a little gusty out there. Out of the south-southwest at about 25 to 35 miles an hour, but once a cold front pushes through, that wind direction will change out of the west and northwest at about 30 to 35 miles an hour, some gust likely. But the winds do start to calm down as we go into your Wednesday until our next system arrives on Thursday. Now, we have several systems that will impact us Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even into the early part of next week. You notice the rain and fall amounts of these next systems that will move in look to stay between 1 to 3 inches. So I do think there will probably be a little bit of localized flooding concerns, especially in some poor drainage areas. So if you live in a flood-prone area, just want to be mindful that we will start to enter a more active weather pattern as we go into latter this week and into early next week so keep that in mind notice your tomorrow planner features temperatures in the upper 40s to start low 50s by lunchtime best chance of rain is between that 6 a.m and 1 p.m window and then things will start to dry out after that but a little bit breezy so it'll probably make it feel a little bit colder so overnight tonight a shower after 4 a.m likely and then notice temperatures in the low to mid 40s for the higher elevations, mid to upper 40s in the lowlands. Tomorrow, light rain, west wind, 5 to 15 miles an hour, gust as high as 30. Temperatures a little bit cooler, highest elevations probably stuck in the 40s like Meadowbridge, Quinwood. Everyone else will probably be in the low to mid 50s. Here's your seven-day forecast, 55 tomorrow, 61 on Wednesday, a lot of sunshine. Our next system will impact us on Thursday, 80% chance of showers and storms possible, a high of 59, 60 on Friday with showers likely, showers continuing into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. You'll notice our temperatures turn in a little bit colder by the end of the weekend and early start of next week with highs only in the low 50s and those overnight lows staying in the 40s the majority of the week and then returning to the 30s by next week.